The 2015 collegiate track and field season wrapped up in spectacular fashion last month at the NCAA Championships in Eugene, Oregon. 42 national event champions were crowned between the men and the women, but one overall award still remains unclaimed for both genders. The Bowerman Trophy, collegiate track and field's highest individual honor. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Kyle Terwilliger with the U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association, and I'll be your host today as we unveil the three men's finalists for the 2015 Bowerman Trophy. Now, the three men unveiled today will look to join a very, very elite group of former winners of the Bowerman Trophy that include Olympic champion world record holder Ashton Eaton, Olympic silver medalist Galen Rupp, and Olympic bronze medalist Derek Druin. Now, the three men selected today will come from the pool of 10 semifinalists selected following the NCAA championships earlier last month. As a refresher, we have them on the screen for you right now. This year's semifinalists were Sean Barber of Akron, Trayvon Bromel of Baylor, Edward Cheserek of Oregon, Andre DeGrasse of Southern California, Marquise Dendy of Florida, Connor McCullough of Southern California, Omar McLeod of Arkansas, Vernon Norwood of LSU, Michael Stigler of Kansas, and Michael Weibo of Georgia. Remember that for the consideration for the 2015 Bowerman Trophy, only accomplishments that took place during the collegiate track and field season can be considered. That means no cross country and nothing that took place after the NCAA championships like USA Championships, Diamond League, or World Championships. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, let's find out who our three men's finalists are for the Bowerman Trophy. Our first finalist is the king of the year of the vault. It's Akron junior, Sean Barber. The Canadian turned in one of the greatest pole vault campaigns in collegiate history, winning two NCAA titles and topping the indoor collegiate record not once, not twice, not even three times, but four different times. He cleared 19 feet in the pole vault 13 times during the 2015 season, including a collegiate indoor record 19 four and three quarter inches, 5.91 meters, to win the NCAA indoor title. He matched that height outdoors at the Texas Relays for the second highest clearance in outdoor collegiate history. Our second finalist is back in the running for the Bowerman Trophy for the second time in his two-year collegiate career. It's Oregon sophomore Edward Cesarek. Winning NCAA titles was the name of the game for the repeat finalists in 2015. Last month, he claimed outdoor national crowns both at 5,000 and 10,000 meters to go along with his NCAA indoor titles in the mile and as the anchor leg of the distance medley relay. He also finished runner-up at 3,000 meters indoors to teammate Eric Jenkins. He showed his range in 2015, running three sub-four miles during the indoor season en route to the national title before winning the 10K crown outdoors. Just one finalist spot left, and that honor goes to the man who won more individual NCAA titles this year than anyone else in the country, Florida senior Marquise Dendy. The Gator swept both the long jump and the triple jump titles at the NCAA indoor and outdoor championships. It's been a long time since anyone flew as far as Dendy in the triple jump, with an NCAA indoor winning leap of 57 feet, that's 17.37 meters, for the number three jump in collegiate indoor history, he became the first collegian to jump 57 feet or farther indoors since 1986. And his winning outdoor leap, a windy 58 feet one and one half inch, 17.71 meters, was the third farthest ever by a collegian under all conditions. He also checked in at number seven on the all-time performers list in the collegiate indoor long jump with an NCAA winning leap of 27 feet and two inches, 8.28 meters. And there you have it. Those are your three finalists for the 2015 Men's Bowerman Trophy. Congratulations once again to Sean Barber of Akron, Edward Chesarek of Oregon, and Marquise Dendy of Florida. Which of those three men do you think should win the Bowerman Trophy? Well, the fan vote begins July 27th and lasts through August 11th on thebowerman.org, so be sure to cast your votes there. One of these three men will then be announced the winner in a live stream ceremony on Thursday, December 17th from San Antonio, Texas. Once again, I'm Kyle Twilliger, and be sure to join me again tomorrow as we announce the women's finalist for the Bowerman Trophy. Same time, same place. See you then.